Hey, what's up, Internet? On today's video, we're going to tell you how to take either of these files and get it on a micro SD card so you can have your image on your Raspberry Pi. This is going to work for Raspberry Pi 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's a really common question I get, which is how do I get download this file and then how do I get it on my Pi? And this is going to be the same for noobs, the same for um, any image backup you might have, motion blue, whatever it might be. So first I'm going to start with the easiest way, which is if you already have, if when you download it comes as a .img file. IMG file stands for an image, and it's a very simple process. You will need some different software programs for this tutorial. First one being WinRAR, or you can get 7-zip. WinRAR or 7-zip, both just unzip the files and get them into uh, the .img. Another pr program I do recommend is the um, SD formatter, it's a free program, it's just going to make sure your SD card is properly prepared before you write it. And then the last thing, the other thing you're going to need is Win32 if you're on a PC, Win32 Disk Imager, you can see a bunch of links for it, it's free as well. And if you're on a Mac, you're going to want the Apple Pie Baker, uh, Win32 being for Windows, Apple Pie for Apple. So back here we have our .img file ready, you should have your micro SD plugged into your computer. And then what you want to do first is go ahead and format your SD. I'm just searching for my SD formatter. Go ahead and click it. should have a program similar to this one. Make sure you're on the correct drive. And then go ahead and don't click options. Just click format. It should ask you, are you sure you want to format? Uh, go ahead and say yes. And depending on the size of the micro SD card, um, it should take somewhere between 10 and 60 seconds. Once your micro SD card is now blank, ready to be uh, written on, you want to go ahead and open Win32. Uh, I like to open it as an administrator, run as an administrator. You want to make sure on the right device. Trust me, I've had a bad experience here where I used the wrong device and it's going to completely erase whatever device is on there if there's data on there. So make sure you have that correct there. Then you're going to click this folder icon here. Once you click the folder icon, it's going to give you a little uh, Windows Explorer. Um, icon, uh, Windows Explorer pop-up. Go ahead and find your .img file. As you see, it's there. I just press OK. It found my IMG, and uh, I'm on the right device. At this point, I just say write, and it's going to say, are you sure? And you just say yes. And on a 128 gigabyte SD card, a fast one, you know that's going to take two, two hours around, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Um, on a 32 gig, on a fast one, you know you can get that in one quarter of the time. It's really uh, depends on the on the write speed of your micro SD card and uh, how big the SD card is. Now, if you have a some some files come as a zip or RAR, and they're going to follow the same thing. But what you need to do is you need to get the IMG file first. So as you see, I already installed WinZip. I can just double click this. I can either click the uh, extract to button here, or I can just even just drag this over, and I can drag this over. And what this is doing is this is a compressed file, so it's uncompressing the file and turning it into a .img file. When this is completely done, I'll be left with an, a blue little lightning bolt similar to that, and it's going to say motion blue base 8 gigabyte image .img. And then the process is the same thing I did for this R updated 3.9.17. So very, very, very simple. This is just one extra step you have to do. I get this question, which is, do I need to extract it? Uh, and the answer is yes. Now, sometimes there are going to be multiple files. It's going to say like motion blue uh, 1.7 zip, motion blue base image 2.7 zip, but you're going to have like 10 sequential files. In that case, just click on the first only one. So if there's 10 files, just click on one of them, the top one typically, and you should get a pop up just like this. So do not click on all of them, do not highlight all of them. Just click the one file, double click, you should see something similar to what we're looking at now, and go ahead and do extract to, or drag over the motion blue dot IMG, the IMG. Uh, you always want to get the dot IMG. Okay, so now you can see I have the motion blue base dot IMG. Occasionally I've extracted things or gotten images from people where the uh, file extension was all weird. And see, as you see, it loses its blue because it's no longer a .img, it's now a .im file. I've messed with the extension. Uh, and then usually to fix that, I just, you just gotta add back in the extension. 
and uh, that should have just fixed it. Uh, you don't want to do this, but I have seen it where somebody accidentally formatted incorrectly, and it has to be a .img for Win32 and PyBaker to be able to um, go ahead and write it to your micro SD. So there's the tutorial, it's fairly simple. Once you're done with Win32, it'll say write complete, and you're totally set up. Just go ahead and put it in your uh, Raspberry Pi or whatever device you're putting this into. Uh, you do not need to install noobs. A lot of people say if I get an image or I'm backing up my image, do I have to also get noobs as well? No, you do not. Noobs is an installer. You only need it if you're starting from scratch. Um, if you're getting something that's already pre-made uh, or as a backup, you will not need it. Hope this was helpful to you. Remember to like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one.